and welcome to this day's uh, workout brief. Uh, just a quick note, if some of you guys have mentioned that you've got football training starting up this week, either Tuesday or Thursday programs or Monday, Wednesday, our recommendation is to not do the conditioning for this week uh, if you do have two skill sessions on. Okay, so reach out to us if you've got any questions on the Team Builder app, uh, but that's our recommendation, as you can see in brackets next to the warm up. If you've got a session Monday or Tuesday with your club, then ignore the conditioning session that I'm briefing you about now, but maintain your strength and power program um, in the Team Builder app. Ideally, you do the strength and power work straight after skills, but if that's not practical, you don't have access to a facility after your football training, then do it either the morning of that day or do it um, just before your football training session. If you can get it done on the same day, that's ideal, so you get that 48 hours recovery between lower body loads. However, there's always an exception to the rule. And if that's not possible, then you might be able to cope okay with doing it on alternate days. So you do your football training on Monday and then do your gym on Tuesday, football training Wednesdays, Thursdays, your second lower body session weights, and then um, move uh, yeah, adapt to the program that way. As long as you're consistent with it and you listen to your body and adjust accordingly, that can work okay as well. Let's get into it. And we start with our two minute jog, four minutes of your own choice mobility just to get the body going. Then we've got some change of direction work. So work on, pick the three um, that you feel best suit your athletic development. Um, so you've got your S curves, your accelerations to hard break. So that's S curves are focusing on changing our angles, acceleration to hard breaks, focusing on your first three steps and then your deceleration ability. So being able to get yourself going fast and then being able to stop. Um, and, and using your footwork, crossover steps, so a good one just to practicing that um, lateral movement, lateral shuffle to focus on quick feet, and then um, your cuts, so working on agility and mixing up your angles as best you can to prep the hips and the groins for the session. We're gonna kick it off with a two minute at max effort. Um, so really set up the week strong with a two minute run as far as you can and record your distance. You're then going to have three minutes rest and then go into our aerobic tempo work. You'll have a set distance depending on your 2K time trial. So for an example, it might be 60 seconds aiming for 300 metres. So have a look at what your target is. Um, two efforts of those, rest 90 seconds. Then you go into a two minute effort and you'll have another target specific to your running um, level. So it might be 600 metres, for example, Run rest for 90 seconds. And then we've got a three minute effort aiming for over 850 metres. Then we're going to rest for three minutes and then we've got some repeat speed work our first repeat speed session after a solid volume piece of work so now that we're starting to ramp up your training loads uh, footballers need to be fast but also need to have repeat effort under duress under fatigue so we're going to start working on that quality your repeatability with your muscles slightly fatigued your heart rate elevated um, and condition your muscles in, in the environment. So repeat speed, make sure you've got the intent to move fast here. We're aiming for 60 meters for this particular person at in 10 seconds. Uh, so focus on whatever your target is and we wanna have consistency there. Six efforts there, 15 seconds aiming for 85 meters and then our three 25 seconds aiming for 150. So solid repeat speed set there. Make sure you're getting adequate rests in between the sets, and then we go into our strength work. Good luck, guys. Remember to reach out if you have any questions. Cheers.